With him I know I can stand And no matter No matter yeah, My life is on If you're going through tests and trials Please listen The thing to get you down and all your friends and loved ones do are nowhere to be found but remember we have a friend in Jesus who is gonna wipe every tear and if your heart is broken this morning join us lift up your hands and sing come on now say I know that I can make it I know that I can stand And no matter And no matter And my life Lord, yeah With Jesus I can take it Yeah With Him I know I can stand Say, and no matter And no matter And my life Oh, oh, yeah. Say, I know that I can make it. And no matter, and no matter, and my life, Lord, yeah. With Jesus, I can take it. With Him, I know I can stand, yeah. And no matter, no matter, and my life, Lord, say, say, I know, yes, I know that I can make it, and no matter, Lord, no matter, and my life, Lord, say, with Jesus, I can take it. With him I know I can stand And no matter And no matter And my life Lord If you're going through heartaches Through pain just know that Through the mountain top Through the valley low My life I like this part it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me because. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for that special. Standing somewhere in the shadows, you find Jesus. Is the one who always cares and understands. Oh, standing somewhere in the shadows, you will find it. Oh, 
best song is in Yoruba, but it's very easy to know if you don't speak Yoruba. So the, the English version will be written on the screen. It says, Agbo. That he will hear. He will hear. And I want us to sing it that Otibo, he has heard. Heavenly Father, 
we cannot thank you enough for all that you have been doing in our midst thank you, Jesus. and in our lives. Amen. Father, I believe all of us, we all have this same testimony. Amen. That we are going back to our homes, better citizens of your kingdom. Amen. Thank you for the great and mighty things that you have accomplished in our lives. And in our midst, all in simplicity. Amen. Thank you, our master. Thank you, the grace to continue to follow this message. May you give it to everyone. Of us. Housewives, in their position, you place them. Lord, may you equip them to be in that position. And so, businessmen, businesswomen, law, students, workers, whatever, oh God, we just trust you to help us, oh God, that our lives will be a reflection of you Amen. everywhere we go. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. When the people see us, may they see you. Amen. We are grateful, Father. Thank you, Jesus. The service is in your hands. While blessing your people, Father, don't pass any of us by. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, church. Do we have any new persons? Eh? Do we have any person that will not be introduced? Okay, can you be seated a little? God bless you. Yeah. No, I saw some people. God bless you, sir. Your name and where you come. God bless you, brethren. My name is uh, Brosonde from Abuja. God bless you, sir. Joshua Fiyusaya from Ijabodi. Don't I be early? Come on, brother. We are soldiers. I am Bro Olakami Boswat from Hibadon. Blessed be his wonderful name. Hey. Heaven will be heaven. Because, because Jesus will be there. Amen. 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 We are so grateful to him. Thus far, thus far, his grace has helped us. Uh, I have the privilege to introduce to you uh, the minister for us this morning. Uh, Brother Adele, 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 if you don't mind, may we please rise up uh, for a word of prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you very much this morning for the privilege that we have first to be called your sons and your daughters. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your grace that gave us this opportunity to uh -huh. at this time to have fellowship with you. Amen and by extension with one another. Thank you for the blessings that we have been receiving off of you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the goodness that you were to us. Journey message to travelers both to and fro. The wonderful food of life Amen. that you have been giving us. We say, be thou exalted, almighty Father. Amen. May you receive our thanksgiving Amen. and our worship in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you for the worship of Zion that have proceeded forth out of grateful hearts and sanctified lips. Amen. We pray that you will accept them Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
we also want to ask that you will accept our person. Amen. Let there be nothing between our soul and the Savior. Amen. Dear Jesus, may we have access into the heavenlies this morning. Amen. Come by, O oh Lord, in your own manner Amen. to break the bread of life for us. Amen. Give us things that will take us deeper in your love. Amen. Give us things that will take us higher in your joy. Amen. Let there be a surround of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Do greatly among the believers. Amen. Bless our souls so much. Amen. Both this visible audience and the invisible audience that are on the hook up, that when all shall be over, we would have cause to give you praise. Amen. We shall give you glory. Amen. Be with the saints who perhaps are coming on the way Amen. and all the places where believers are fellowshipping this morning. Your God's presence that we believe is with us, let it also abide with them. Amen. Help us, Heavenly Father, Amen. as we report for service. Amen. We commit thy words this time and ourselves into thy hands in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 The Lord bless you. Thank you. While we'll remain standing, so I uh, will not be keeping you up and down. I would like for us to read our Bibles. Then we will take uh, the comfort of our seats thereafter. Greet ourselves like we should. And uh, trust God for what He will have for us. Uh, if you have your Bibles with you, uh, please turn with me to the book of Psalms, chapter 16. I want to read Psalm 16, Proverbs 16, then Isaiah 55. It may be familiar with some of us. But we trust the Lord to bless us anew. Psalm 16 verse 11. Just one verse there. He said, Thou will show me the path of life. Amen. In thy presence is fullness of joy. Amen. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 16, 25. Proverbs 16, Proverbs 16, 25 says, There is a way that seemed right unto a man, but the hands thereof are the ways of death. And finally, Isaiah chapter 55, Oh, God Sorry, to... bear with me. I'm running you up and down. <clears throat> we'll read from the sixth verse, verse six. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Amen. Call ye upon him while he is near. <inaudible> Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man is thought, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Amen. Neither are your ways my ways, ah. saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. <coughs> For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and board, 
that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Amen. It shall not return unto me void, Amen. but it shall accomplish that which I please, Amen. and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees clap their hands. Nitori ayoli e o fi jade lo alaafia as fi to yin awon okin la ati awon kekekeke yo bu si yo bu si orin niwaju yin gbogbo igbe yo si sape instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree amen and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree amen and it shall be to the lord for a name for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off Igifiri yo huja de dipo egon, igimitili yo huja de dipo ususu, yo si che uruko fun uluwa fwame ayiraye ti akiyo kekuro. May the Lord add his blessings to the reading of his holy words. God bless you, may please be seated. We want to thank the Lord very much. For giving us this privilege uh, to be at a fellowship like this, seeing brethren of like precious faith, uh, family members, by the royal pure blood of Jesus Christ, uh, even from outside of our country. At this time in this place, we thank the Lord for making it possible. I want to appreciate our dear pastor and his associates for the privilege they have given unto me to stand before the believers to be of service believing God that somewhere along the line uh, we can be of a blessing. I appreciate all the other servants of God. And uh, uh, like it was said, uh, if there is more time, maybe all of us will speak. And uh, they are not many are not at the back this morning because the one speaking can speak better than them. Personally, I'm one of the weakest among all of them. But uh, it falls my lot. And, uh, I have my assurances that they will support me from behind. Yeah, for, for the piano or the organ to give a good sound, it needs people behind to press the hair. And uh, that is what they will do for me. Our hearts are together. So I salute all of them in the name of Jesus Christ. And I uh, appreciate uh, my interpreter too. God bless you. <laughs> and uh, we appreciate all the servants of God who had spoken before me and pastor that will speak after me in advance. Because I know 
it will be a blessing. So, may, may the Lord bless a servant. I want them to know that their ministries have impacted greatly in our lives. And uh, we can never be the same again. We are going better than we came in. Through their labor, through their efforts. God bless you, sirs. God bless all the background forces. Most of, most of whom are not seen. Our sisters in the in that great room. Their administration is also very important. Amen. And uh -huh. they've been edifying us physically. Uh, we appreciate them. The musicians. The technical team, the team, the the logistics, every aspect, every commission. May the Lord bless you all. All that you have done for the Lord, beyond human recognition, I know God has seen them. And they will reward you abundantly. All our sponsors, God bless you and all our sponsors. God bless you all. This morning, for the time we have by the grace of God, I want to speak on a subject just to encourage you and for me to celebrate the message of the hour. I like to celebrate the message while some are attacking the message. We want to keep celebrating the message. Because for us, we have hit our final bus stop if it is not this what else we've tried many things before we came this far so the more they attack the message the more we are loving the message some Amish people I want the Amish. Amish, just call them Amish. They are they are peculiar white people. They have strict way of living. If you study the message, the messages, the prophet always talk about them. And commended their tenacity for holiness. But supernaturally, some of them accepted the message. And uh, they are in a place they call Indiana. They came into the message at a time the revival to attack the message began by people of Believe, design, doubt, design, and all kinds. So, one of them was testifying to me. It said, then they became confused. That this thing that looks so great is under attack by people purportedly who are supposed to believe it. Then they started asking themselves, are we sure we are in the right thing? But then he said, anytime they look at that pillar of fire picture, something just wake up love in their heart. Now, this is not my word. Uh, this is their own testimony. So, by just looking at that picture, they just keep loving the prophet and the message. And he said, that is what has kept us. We don't know it so much. 
one year see, but that has helped us. Lock, 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 lock. So, so God was yeah. gracious for yeah. us, for them to have some time of fellowship with us. And by the time they finished, all their doubts were dissolved. So, so today, in Indiana, there are strong Amish believers of the message of their hour. So, my message to the critics is that when you succeed in perverting one, God will replace that one with over 100. The message is under attack, but every day we keep baptizing people. So it's my honor to celebrate and the message again today. Uh, I will call my subject God's provided way. Amen. Amen. I, I know the prophet preached several messages. He called it God's way that is made for us. God has a provided way. And so many topics that he gave to it. But one of the stories that he spoke about as an experience was what inspired my thoughts. So if you are reading those messages and I do not seem to line it like it, like that, bear with me. I may approach it differently. But if you follow through at the end of the day, it will come to the same thing. The prophet had a friend who shared the same name with him. That man was called Brother Marion Lee. Marion Lee. Marion Lee was a good friend of the prophet. So much that they can sleep in each other's house. But Marion Lee did not believe in water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. He was a Christian in the sense of, you know, but he hasn't seen this light. So each time the prophet had an opportunity, it will make him realize that your, your foundation is not altogether right. And if the foundation is not right, uh, your Christian standing ask questions. Uh, Is that because for you to do anything uh, in God's economy, uh, you must come the way He wanted it to be done? God wanted to be worshipped, uh, but He has the way He wanted the worship uh, to be done. God wanted to be served, uh, but He has a way He wanted uh, us to serve Him. Uh, if we assume God to be a beggar, God is a beggar that has a choice. Meaning that you cannot just come and give him anything you feel. It must be what he wants. Otherwise, all your worshiping, all your service will never be acceptable. So the prophet was making this, you know, putting this to Brother Lee. Uh, and Brother Lee will never care so much. Uh, but I will think, uh, beyond natural, uh, there's a reason Brother Lee uh, and Brother Bram remained friends. Uh, Maybe there's a witness in uh, the prophet's heart uh, that this man uh, is a seed of God. Um, no, no. You say, is it possible? Very possible. Uh, that, uh, brother Brown settled for Brother Neville uh, while he was still a metal uh, uh, preacher. <laughs> because he saw beyond him uh, being a Methodist. Uh, I may not have that grace, uh, but he had it. So sometimes he can take a decision uh, in advance in anticipation of the positive outcome of that thing. 
There are some differences between us and the prophet. You love him, brethren. So there was a reason they stuck together. I believe because Brother Marion was a seed of God. God at some point. No matter how difficult he posed, God at some point will reveal himself to him. If anybody is a seed of God, you don't have much to worry about them. Because it's not even your program. It's God's program. No matter how much we preach, we can't bring nobody here. We are to lift up Christ. And he is to draw. And he will draw everybody. You love him this morning. So one day, Brother Lee had a dream. By natural profession, he was a building contractor. The prophet of God said, in order for you to understand him, he can bring the kingdom of God so low to explain it to you. So he came to Lee by way of a dream. Brother Lee saw a man who wanted to build a house. But this man, he was not coming to get ideas from Brother Lee. When this man was coming, he came with his blueprints. He came with his idea. He came with his opinion. He came made up his mind what he wanted to be done. So when he came, Marion, Marion, you are a building contractor. Can you build this house for me? Brother Marion looked at it. He said, yes, I can handle this. Then he gave him an advance. I'm going to Florida. By the time I return, get my house ready. We shall settle the bill. So the man left, still in the dream. Then when Brother Marion started building, he looked at a particular window. According to Building Society Edict of 1954, no window should be put here. Brother Marion Lee removed the window. He looked at a particular pillar. According to the edict of building profession 1968, no pillar should be here. He removed it. He looked at another door. According to contemporary technology design, this door shouldn't be here. He also removed it. He changed what he wanted. He removed what he wanted. And by the time the man came, he told him, your building is ready. But unfortunately for Brother Lee, are you enjoying my story? Unfortunately for Brother Lee, the first thing the man asked for when he came was the blueprint. No matter how great a masterpiece Brother Lee has built the blueprint will not be judged. The man is not going to judge the blueprint by that masterpiece. But he is going to judge that masterpiece by the blueprint. Because he has a way he wanted his structure to be built. 
Then he took the structure, he took the blueprint, and he began to look. Brother Lee, Lee, where is my window? Uh, I removed it. Where is my pillar? I removed it. Where is my door? I changed it. Then the man looked at me. You have built something, but you have not built my house. And if you want me to pay you, you have to tear this down and start all over again. Ah, then God did not wait for Brother Lee to respond in the dream. He woke him up. Fortunately for him, he and Brother Abraham slept under the same roof. That day, then you know what he did? He quickly went to knock at the door. Brother Abraham, I have had a dream. This, this, and that. What do you think that is? Brother Abraham looked around. There is river just down the road there. You don't need a soothsayer. You don't need a prophet to interpret that for you. What God wanted you to to do is to be baptized by water immersion in the name of Jesus Christ. Then Brother Bram told him, this is what I've been telling you. God has a provided way for anything he wants. This morning is still dust. There are a lot of us who think we can get warm. Warm or delivered by Pentecostal people. I have to use that word, Pentecostal people. Because Pentecost itself is not wrong. We are the real owner of Pentecost. Are you following me? We are the real owner of Pentecost. But as regarding Pentecostal people, they are not bad as a person. But God's move for this day is no longer in their midst. For those of us who want to seek counsel in there, I want you to know this uh, morning that God's provided way for your deliverance, for your healing, does not belong outside. You don't believe that. The prophet said, when the son of Ahab wanted to go and consult the God of Ekron, Anybody could have gone to do it. Uh, Listen very you. carefully. Uh, and God wouldn't mind. Uh, but the prophet said, uh, because that boy uh, was an Israelite, uh, and God wanted Israelites to know uh, that they live under different covenants. Uh, you live under different uh, covenants. Uh, when uh, you are uh, going uh, to uh, submit uh, yourself uh, to something God has discarded uh, and, and laid on the shelf, you have identity uh, crisis. Uh, are you following me? The prophet said because that guy was an Israelite, even though he was a backsliding Israelite, even though his family never cared much about God, even though he himself was not raised up with the words of God, or with Baal worship, but because he was an Israelite, 
That is the reason God sent Elijah to go and intercept the servants he sent. Meaning if he wasn't an Israelite, God has no business. So if truly you are a seed of God, God will intercept you. Maybe he's using me this morning to intercept some of you because I'm bringing to you the message of Elijah of this generation. Don't seek bam. Where none exists. Don't seek revival. Where none is available. Because you live under a different covenant. Putting the cats. The cats. The ark of covenant. Putting the ark of covenant. Big Bay. Yes. The Ark of Covenant on a new cart wasn't new in the Bible. Read your Bible. The Philistines they put the same Ark of Covenant on a new cart. Not different one. It never caused death. As a matter of fact, they consulted their own prophets and their own prophets gave to them what looked like does share the Lord. Do you know why? Because what they told them to do, they did it and it was blessed. They took the Ark of God's Covenant as a captive and brought it to the hall of Dagon. So Dagon on this side, the Ark on this side, and by the time the morning came, the Ark proved himself. God does not need you fighting for him. He's more than capable to fight for himself. The hall of the 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 dragon, the god of dragon, was lying prostrate, worshiping the god of God, the king of kings. You know, unbelievers will never accept. They thought it was a coincidence. Then they carried, they helped uh, their God. Woe to you. If you are the helper of your God. My own God is my own helper. Woe to you. If, if you are the keeper of your God. My God is my own keeper. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. As a matter of fact, I don't even do anything. If you can understand and have the revelation of the shepherdship of God, you will realize how Christianity is just rest because in Psalms 23 you were not doing anything it was him doing a new season if you are a struggler this morning come to the Savior make you so they carried their God uh, and put him back in uh, his place. God said, you will know how far. Uh, by, the uh, by the next day, by the next day, God broke the arm and uh, the leg. If that's the God you serve, uh, Dagon became a stump. Uh, <laughs> So when they came back this time uh, around, they knew they have problems. Uh, they said, what shall we do? Uh, they went to their prophet. Uh, their prophet said, uh, this uh, is not ordinary. Uh, Let us consult. Uh, they said, the, the, it, 
it looks like the ark is the one troubling us. You are the one who brought it. Please, Please carry it back. When they ask counsel, how shall we carry the ark? Their prophet said, put the ark on a new cart. And allow the ark to drive himself. If he goes right, it's our problem. If he goes left, it's not our problem. And make sure uh, you bring golden hemorrhoids. Five of them for your atonement. My Bible told me they did everything and the act to prove that it was their problem started going going on the right unaided unsupported it passed through the threshing floor it passed through every place no problem that was good for the Philistines. This was what David saw. Uh -huh. So there's a precedence. This is a new formula of revival. Brother Brown said, in bringing the ark to Israel, David wanted to bring back revival. But he forgot what the prophet uh, said. In trying to do God the service uh, without uh, being his uh, will. That no matter uh, how strongly uh, we feel. Uh, to do, do anything. Uh, even if it is a tool. Uh, that can bring souls uh, to the kingdom. Uh, there must be the will of the Lord. Uh, and uh, God's uh, provided uh, way. Uh, to uh, do it. Uh, we don't go uh, in the power uh, of our resources. Uh, we don't go uh, in the power uh, of our influence. Uh, we go uh, in the name of the Lord uh, uh, by the word of the Lord. Uh, 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 so David never cared since the Philistines did it and it worked. We can also do it, and it will work. A lot of us bringing strange fires, trying to invoke revival that was not lost. It's because the devil is misinterpreting revival to you. If you have a clear understanding of what revival is, you will know that the Pentecostals are only doing gymnastics. The revival that hasn't washed out trash, that hasn't cleansed people, and, and make the water pure, is no revival. This was what David did. He brought Philistines revival. And uh, he said, let's put the hack again. On what? New cards. But this time around, uh, even though the ark was guarded and supported, uh, yet it got to the threshing floor. Uh, the ark almost fell. Uh, when the Philistines had it, uh, it never fell. Uh, when uh, the people of the covenant uh, were trying to copy uh, the words, uh, the uh, ark uh, fell. Uh, and Uza uh, said, Let me help uh, the ark. Uh, and God uh, killed him. Uh, and that revival uh, became a funeral. Uh, and for the next 20 uh, years, uh, the ark couldn't come back to Israel. Let me tell you, church, you live under a different covenant. God has a provided way for the blood in which he wants us to do anything. And until we come to that, we are wasting our time. In our family, in our church, even in our own life.
In the beginning, God placed man on a free moral agency, which I defined as this. It may not be your definition, but this is mine. Free moral agency is the right God gave you or the ability God gave you to make your choices without divine interference. Choose as you like. But if you are spiritual this morning, you would realize that by the account of the scripture, this right you were given is actually not in accordance with your nature. <laughs> You didn't get that. God called you a sheep. A sheep by design cannot lead itself, cannot choose its way. A sheep is made to be led. No wonder the prophet said the reason God did it was to be able to bring the fall of man. God wanted the fall. Yes, but he cannot bring it by himself. God wanted the fall. But the son of God cannot fall. But God brought something out of the Son of God, which was the woman with the capacity to bring the fall. So after she falls, man must be put in a condition to make a choice. The prophet said, the choice he will make, God knowing how we choose, was the reason he gave him the choice without interfering. So if you are the type that likes to rejoice or uh, brag on your rights, I want you to know that that thing wasn't given you to uphold you because you are not designed by nature to be able to choose and choose correctly by yourself. I say it with all sense of responsibility. You are not designed. That is why throughout the scriptures, after Genesis chapter 3 4, God has been interested in influencing the choice of everyone. And one of the ways he encourages you to accept his own choice was by showing you uh, his own provided uh, way. Please, can you put on the board for me Deuteronomy chapter 30? Deuteronomy chapter 30. Verse 18 or somewhere there. Is that verse 18? Uh, what verse is this now? Go towards the last verse, let's see. Of that Bible. same chapter. Where he said, I called, thank you, verse 19. Now let's watch this. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. That, that I have set before you life and death. Blessing and cursing. Did you see the iPhone? Uh, That's a boss. This first line of the verse, uh, that is free moral agency. Uh -huh. Choose by yourself. But God knows uh -huh. that you cannot choose correctly uh -huh. by yourself. Uh -huh. He came. 
He said, therefore, choose life. God telling you what to choose is contrary to the law of free moral agency. You should have allowed you to take your choice. But he knew you cannot choose correctly. That was why he came and said, choose life. That both thou and thy seed may live. In the garden of Eden, he didn't tell Adam what to choose. He left him to make his choice. After his choice, he came down. But right after that, he began to take interest in the choices that men make. Then the prophet said, you will say, but God promised to give you the desire of your heart. He promised so. But watch what the prophet said. He said, and you, let your desire be his will. So meaning that a believer will have only one desire in all things. What does God want? Whatever God wills, whatever God wants is my desire. And that was why he went further. He said, until you are redeemed, you will struggle with the will of God. He said, but when you are redeemed, you no longer want your will. You no longer want your will. You no longer want your choices. You want his choice. So God having this at the back of his uh, mind so you know, is the reason he made a provided way uh, for, for anything and for everything. If it is marriage, God has a provided way. If it is our church in worship, he has a provided way. Whatever a believer wants to do, God has a way. Even to our bedrooms, God has a provided way. Brother Bram said, uh, we it will not be just uh, to judge you and I uh, if he does not reveal what he wants us to uh, do. Uh, and we act according uh, to our heads. You love him. Uh, With that as our background, uh, let us uh, look at the scriptures that we have read. Uh, In the book of Psalms chapter 16, uh, the Bible said, Thou will show me the path of life. God introduced the path or a way. He called it the way of life. Now, this way of life cannot be discovered by anybody except you are shown. I want you to mark that in your heart. If you are not shown, you don't know it. And I will tell you why you don't know it. If you are not shown, you cannot walk in it. But let us look at the other way. In Proverbs 16 also, he said there is a way. Are you bringing it for us? There is a way that seemed right. I want you to watch the language of the Bible. The way seems so right to a man. But if you conclude that verse, it's is not actually right. There is a way that seemed right. So any man who journeys in this path is on a journey of presumption. He's on a journey of probability. Please don't take it away. He's on a journey of probability. You know why? When you start a niche, 
looks attractive. Sin looks so attractive. Until you get to the hand. The hand of sin. Apart from death. Is shame. Is losses. But the hands thereof are the ways, not even just one, ways of death. The prophet said, death come to us in a thousand form, but life has got only one part. Now, what I'm saying is this, church. If the Lord give it to you to choose between the way of Psalm 16, to choose between Psalm 16 and Proverbs 16 way, your natural choice will be Proverbs 16. <laughs> Because from the two ways, uh, that is the one that seems so right. Do you know why? In the message, Thinking Man's Filter, the prophet said, when you and I were born, we were born without a fighting chance. We came edge down, uh, defeated. And because our birth, uh, the formula for our birth uh, was not God's divine uh, prescription. Uh, it was the devil that prescribed it. And the devil has a plan by giving us such formula. Now, when you are looking at serpents in the Bible, at a point, serpents became Satan. Satan. <laughs> You know why? Satan wanted to be able to inject his seed and introduce his nature to mankind. But don't forget he's a spirit. He is not flesh and blood. So for him to be able to do that, he has got to, he has got to cannot. He has got to inhabit. Don't stumble by that. Because what he did in the Genesis 3, he is going to do it again. The meaning of the beast is a man in a popish office becoming a fully incarnated Satan on two feet. Just as the fullness of God dwells in the body called Jesus, in the bodily form, the fullness of Satan, the one that dwell in the man, as it did in Genesis 3, it was the fullness of Satan that came into the serpent so that by his own method, he can reproduce himself into mankind. God the formula for reproduction uh, is by spoken word. Satan's formula for reproduction is sex. And that is why sex is the problem of the world today. Amen. So by this, he was not just able to bring a person called Cain, he was able to introduce his nature into mankind. So as many as we are born sex birth, including me, including all of us here, when we were born, even though God ordained us, elected us as a seed, before the foundation of the world we were born with an inherent nature of the devil
Adamic fallen nature. In the right nature of the devil. That is true. That was what the Bible said. We were by nature the children of wrath, fitted only for destruction, born in sin, shed in iniquity, come to the world, speaking lies. Watch it very well. No matter how nice godly a parent gives birth to a child, when a child begins to grow to consciousness, he is more attracted to things that are wrong than things that are right. Junior, who took this book, is more prone to say, I, I am not, than saying, I am. Nobody taught him. Nobody showed him. It was always in him by the natural birth. That is the way of Proverbs 16. None of us here will do anything better than that. You see what the prophet said. It will take the new birth for a man to be healthy to accept God's provided way for anything. Brother Bram said, it will change it. It will take a change of thinking. Which he called the new birth. Also a change of thinking. To change your thinking, you need to lose your mind. You see the reason, Brother Bram said, if you are going to believe the revelation of the third book, the word of God fully unveiled, he said, you got no thoughts coming. You got no ideas. You got no opinion. You sacrifice them. You are ready to take God's thinking. God's thought of it. It is not going to be. It is not going to be. Your of faith in him. <laughs> it is going to be his faith in you. Paul said, I live by the faith of the Brother Bram said, he never said he lives by his faith in him. His faith in the Son of God will be his own thinking. Okay, let's make it simpler. Jesus said, who do men say, I, the son of man, am? Do you know everything the quoted people say? Jesus fulfilled everything. Some say you are a liar. Some say you are this. Some say you are a good teacher. You are a prophet. You are this. That was their opinion. Their belief about him. Those who called him a healer was because they enjoyed healing. Those who called him a teacher was because they enjoyed the teaching so much they said never a man spoke like this. So all of them had one experience on the other that made them form their opinion. Your faith in him is your opinion, your belief in him. But, but was Jesus satisfied? He said, no. he said, that's fine. But now, who do you? That is what they said. You are the secret closest believer. You are the ones who live in the secret place of the most high. What do you say? Then Peter said, Thou art Christ, the son of the living God. What was the testimony of Jesus? Flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. It's more than your thinking. It's more than your understanding. It's more than your belief. It's more than your opinion. 
it was exactly the mind of God given to a man. That was the fate of the Son of God. You drop your mind, you drop your thought, you accept his own. You drop your ways and you accept his way. But it takes conversion to do that. This is why Isaiah says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. He is still near. He can still be found. Now, nah. because we are coming to a time. Ah, you are in the spirit. We are coming to a time when you will seek, you will never find him. The prophet of the Lord said, We will not live here. We will still be here. And yet, he that is holy will be holy still. He that is filthy will be filthy. The spirit of the Lord will be withdrawn. Nobody will be able to cross from one side to the other. While it is possible, seek the Lord. Let the wicked, let the doubters, let the sinners, let the agnostics forsake their ways. I'm preaching, bro. Let them forsake what they are ways. <laughs> The wicked is not just the witches and wizards. Uh, there could be many wicked people here. When you see the word of God, and you willingly living contrary to that word, you are a wicked man. Let the wicked forsake their ways. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you. You either come clean God's way or you go in your own way. These two ways that are before us this morning you cannot walk in the two of them at the same time. Your legs are not long enough to plant one here and plant another here. To be ready to walk in uh, one is to forsake the other. You love him, church. God bless you. You must be ready. And from what we read in Isaiah, God will never compromise on this world. He said, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Look up to heaven as high as it is from the earth. That's the difference. So if you want to walk this message way, because I'm bringing it close to let you know that that's God's provided way. You've got to be ready to be out of your mind. No matter how hot, <laughs> no matter how hot the message sounds, that's God's provided way. Now, uh, my Bible you? told me. Uh, he said, between uh, these two ways, one you naturally embrace. Uh, we have proven why. Uh, it's always in you. Uh, by natural birth. Uh, 
that little child I'm not the one then what do you do you say junior calm down you say I don't want you like that it doesn't cost anything if you tell me the truth if you were the one I just say you are the one. Then I will correct you and show you the right thing to do. Then as Judah began to gather confidence in your instruction, he began to have boldness to tell the truth. What are you doing? You are showing him the part of life. Is not what it will naturally discover. We are all born elected. But we were not born, born again. Did you hear me? We are all born elected. But we are not born, born again. We got to be shown. How to be born again. Thou will show me I will the part of life. This is what we come to the house of the Lord for. And that is what the message of the house is all about. To give you a good understanding of this. Let's go because we don't have too much time like that. Let's go to the first exodus. Are you with me, brethren? Because if we're able to run a shadow type, it will help you to come into the understanding of the real type. I want you to know that all the characters of the Bible they were living our life out in advance. And those who want to enjoy their inheritance in the Bible must at some point be able to find their identity because all these characters as great as they were they were your shadows. You are the reality. That was why Paul was describing the affairs around Abraham. He called it an allegory. Something happening now. But is representing a future uh, substance. Aren't we glad? That is why the prophet says, uh, if God will ask him which age, if you have another opportunity, would you want to appear again? He said, as bad as Laodicea is, I will choose Laodicea. Because it is in Laodicea that the shadows became the clearest. Oh, this is the height God called us on. If you are looking at the shadow of an elephant, Amen. Amen. You can tell by the shape that this is elephant coming. But the shadow doesn't tell you the color. Every shadow is black. It doesn't give you details. It gives you the form. But not the details. Until the real substance appears. You can't use shadow to fully describe. But it will give you some good idea. So, so these characters gave us some good idea. But we are the real picture. This is what the Bible says. They without horses no complete.
In the first Exodus, many mighty miracles happened to bring the Exodus. I know we all are familiar with Exodus. First nation out of a nation. Second, the church out of religion. And this last one, the bride out of the church. Now, in this first Exodus, when God was ready to bring his people out, after the miracle signs and wonders, it was miracle signs and wonders to the Exodus people. It was judgment to the Egyptians. Because what destroyed the Egyptians was what set free the Exodus church. So Israel will be testifying. Egyptians will be mourning. By the same thing, we are not the same brethren. When the journey was about ready to go, Exodus chapter 23 verse 20, please. God said, excuse me, before you start the journey, Take note of this. For you to know, please bring Exodus 23:20. For you to know that God has a provided way. If you are a sheep of God, let me tell you this morning. It is your shepherd that must select the path that you must tread. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Don't put it off. We are still on it. Amen. To keep you in the way. You know why God did this? If you read your Bible, there are many ways that led from Egypt into Canaan. It's in the Bible. In fact, there is a shortcut road that the Bible said the Philistine highway is very short. If they cry that way, they will get to Canaan faster. But here is a lesson God is showing that no matter how much varieties of ways you have, all of them are not an option. Among all these ways, there must be God's only one way. They are running their journey in the physical. Ours is spiritual. But the principle is the same. For them to be able to know that only one way. An angel was sent to show them. Thou will show me I will feel the part of life. Oh, no, you hear me? Moses, uh, Moses had been heard of Egypt before. He never had to pass through the Red Sea. You can travel today from Egypt, from Israel to Egypt. You don't have to cross the Red Sea. You could pass through some shoreline and you will arrive in Egypt. I know so. But 
But God didn't choose that direction. The shorter distance. Philistine Highway. He didn't choose it. So many options are available. I want the church of God to get it in their head. That this program is God's own program. And he is the only one who is qualified to tell us how to run it. Marriage is God's program. He is the Holy One qualified to tell us how to run it. Children, children, is God's heritage. They are God's heritage. God is the Holy One who can tell us how to raise them. Church service is God's program. He is the Holy One to tell us how to conduct it. It is only when we do it as he said. Oh. Brother Bram said, it pays to go God's way. Is there so many sometimes who want a way around God's way? The prophet said you can uh, find it. Uh, and you can walk in uh, it. And you find God blessing, uh, find God blessing uh, you. But, but it will never uh, become the will uh, of God. Uh, At uh, the uh, end uh, of the journey, uh, you uh, will regret uh, it. Uh, that is the God we serve. Quickly, let me give you a time before I come to this. When they turn Koran and Abira, when they challenge Moses, do you know the test Moses gave them? He gave them a test uh, by the message of that hour. You say you are spiritual. I take too much to myself. I give something to her. You, you know the problem. You know the problem. These guys became so calm. To reason in themselves that the priesthood has more benefits than, than Levitical ministration. They are all Levites. But Aaron's children are priests. And the rest are ministers. The priest is the one that does the offering. The rest are the ones who read and uh, preach. They felt because Aaron was Moses' brother. He gave him the better aspect of the ministry. And that was why they said, all of us are holy. If they can do it, we all can do it. Moses said, don't worry. Don't worry. Do what Aaron's children are doing. Oh, yeah, you know, it. It. Then they actually went to pick incense, ah, which you only be offered ah, by the descendants of ah, Aaron ah, among the Levites. The Bible says, uh, when they begin to wave uh, it before the Lord, the smoke of their offering uh, was going up to uh, heaven. If he <laughs> you see, the bride is rising above. The bride is rising above. We are getting results. The bride in their conversion, they will come to a point that it is thus here the Lord that they keep still. The Bible says the bride in maturity will never be put under pressure to do contrary. He says nothing can make them do otherwise. The joy of the bride will be the peace that we are in the way perfectly. 
Aaron's children, I know Dayton Koran and Abel, who were not Aaron's children, were waving incense. And I repeat, I think number 16 or 19, I repeat, their smoke was going up, meaning God was taking it. Um, and they were telling them, sir, go home, brother. Moses, you see yourself? But the man who knew what he was doing, he kept his car. When they finished their gymnastics, he said, who is on the road, Amen. That was all Moses said. And some people who have been cheering them, they look. Is there any time ah. prophet's eyes is like mm. this? Mm. Something must happen. Uh, Kora. Uh, I want to. Uh, I will no. see you later. If nothing happens, you'll be sure. Oh, oh. But for now, I am on the Lord's side. Amen. They separated. And Moses said, the offering of these people against their soul. They wanted permissive will, they got it. But watch what happened after. The offering of these guys against their soul. Then Moses began to give God prescription of how he wanted them dead. He said that these guys uh, might know despite their results. Uh, despite their achievements. Uh, that uh, these guys uh, might know uh, that uh, it is only the stock of uh, error uh, that uh, has the right uh, to uh, offer uh, this. Uh, let the land open uh, and swallow uh, them uh, all alive. Uh, My brother, my sister, the vessels they used were not destroyed. But the people who used them were destroyed. Then Moses told the people, he said, gather those vessels and take it to the house of the Lord as an allot vessel because they use it to offer to God but where were the people who offered God has a provided way so behold I send my angel bring it back please ah Okay, okay, okay. Is it, these people are in the spirit. They were giving me, bring that scripture. Let's read it. That scripture you flash now. He said, but if the Lord make a new thing, that was the prophet of God telling God. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them all. We thought that appertained unto them. And they go down quick into the pit. Then ye shall understand. That these men have done what? But their smoke went up. Smoke of provocation. Worship of provocation. Behold, I send before thee. I send an angel before thee. So, knowing that there are many ways. But all the ways are not an alternative. There must be one God's provided way. God had to send his angel before they lifted one step. To keep them in the way. Follow the angel. He will bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Are we together? Beware of him. Church, beware of him. I will show you the angel now. Beware of him. And obey his voice. 
your part in it is obedience. Once you obey, even the things you don't pray for, he will give you. Did you hear me? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then all other things. It's a divine arrangement. Seek ye first. So if I'm seeking the kingdom and I'm walking in the kingdom, the heavenly father knows what I have need of. That is why he said, take no thoughts. Do not be anxious. What to eat, what to drink, or where we shall you be clothed. Your heavenly father knows you need them. Sometimes our life becomes a struggle because we are not seeking the kingdom first. We are manufacturing our righteousness. The wealth is enough for the believer. Provoke him not. Uh, for he you will not pardon your transgression. For my name is in him. Uh -huh. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice, see what will happen. And do all that I speak. Uh, then I will be an enemy. Unto thine enemy. And an adversary unto thy adversary, you will never need to fight one battle, and you will be living in victory. Are you with me, church? For those you, for those of you who are afraid, for those of you whose ministry is 75% focused on witches and wizards. Your ministry is very poor. You have a poor ministry. Sorry, I'm not arrogant. Sorry, I'm not proud. But I'm going to tell you the truth. You have a poor ministry. Poverty of the spirit has taken over your ministry. What is a witch? What is a wizard? Insignificant. Jesus never glorified demons. Jesus never paid attention to demons. He didn't have time for them. All your prophecies are witches and wizards. And yet there are sinners in the house. People who are living true to their marriage vows. Your own vision did not pick that one. He didn't pick those who are embezzling for who are cheating in their offices. Nonsense. And what kind of a gift will you have that will bring fear upon the believer? The gift of God sets the believer free. They give you fear. You can't go to a village. You can't even sleep in your room. And you call yourself a believer. Tomorrow they will say, He that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. You will say, Amen. You are a liar. That that is what some of you are spending your money on. Fake ministries. That's to put you in bondage. You will never spend on preachers of righteousness. You think I won't say it? Me, I don't have boundaries. I preach anything and everything. If you like, if you like, say he's pulling for money. Uh, yes. 
you know what the prophet said he said as ministers we live by the hands of the people bring your money and we eat it if you, bring, if you bring a questionable one I will query you so, so that they won't say we are pulling for money what oh thank you That will not cage us from preaching the whole council. Happy is the man who does not show to declare the whole council. Whether you give or you don't give. We have been living. We are still living. And we will still live. You want those that we secure you in unrighteousness they don't see your sinful life to call you to repent uh, his old age is sin bro Ima is old age is sin why is every old people who call with his and you don't want to grow hold yourself. And they preach so much fear in you. It is the spirit of ten elders. Ten elders. Those men died. But their spirit is still here. Are you with me, church? That is the spirit. They give you fear. They keep you running up and down. Until the church of God become a church of deliverance like Pentecostal people. It's a less comfort deliverance. Which deliverance? The word of God is our deliverance. If you are ready now, the word will deliver you. Let me give you a testimony of deliverance. Are you ready? Let me see if I can get it. All right. Listen to this. This is from South Africa. Shalom, man of God. Greetings to Nigeria. Testimony. An elderly sister who was 100% deaf received a healing while you were preaching on Sunday morning. That's God's glory through his servants. You can read. The word is your healing. The word is your deliverance. The word is your salvation. If the message of the hour cannot deliver you, nothing else will do it. Stop running elder skelter. Stop seeking help. Here there is no. If the Gentiles, if the Gentiles, if they understand their blessings, oh my, do you know the Gentiles had a better reception than the Jews? The Jews always wanted the hands. But in the Bible, the Gentiles believe in spoken words. When Peter yes spoke, Holy Ghost fell. That's over. The Roman centurion said, Sir, you don't need to come okay. under my roof. What did he say you should do? Speak. Amen. God's spoken word. God's spoken word is the original sin. Brother Abraham said, Brother Abraham said, I tried the power of the word in Grass Valley and in another place, two places. He said, I was just talking about the word. Raising the, 
faith of people on the promises of God. And without prayer, people got up. They got up. That is the Gentile. You want to hear another one? You want, you want another one? They want another one. <laughs> they want another one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us give them another one. Maybe it will help them to bring their mind back to the message of the hour. Because the message of the hour is God's provided way for your healing, your provision, your deliverance, your salvation to meet all your needs. If this message cannot do it, nothing else will do it. You know why? You are an Israelite. Amen. Amen. Listen to this. This is from England. It's what you can read about yourself. This is what. Hello, sir. Hello. This was just on 5th August. Two days ago. Now, this one is even now prayer. He said, I hope you and the whole family are all well. I just wanted to let you know that my results concerning the issue we prayed for came back all clear. They did all the tests. I will tell you what happened. They did all the tests. And they came back all clear. I feel well. And I'm back to myself. No more pain. No more swelling. I thank God. And I cannot thank you enough for praying for me. May God bless you abundantly. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. You know what I can condition was, you want to hear it, cancer. Cancer case. This sister attended to her so well. She cared for her so well. Then my spirit moved within me. Now, when the Shunammite woman did something like this, the Lord did something for her. So I went to her. I said, What's what's the challenge? I didn't realize that this sister was dealing with cancer in early stages. At least, while she was serving us, she was in pain. I said, you have all this, and you are serving us like this. I said, I must pray for you. Then I said, do you remember the Shunammite woman? I said, let me assume that you are the substance. She is the shadow. I didn't know your needs. But you knew. And you have spoken it. Do you believe nothing is impossible with God? She said, I believe, sir. And she went on her knees. Right in the kitchen. In the kitchen. I said, Lord, with all that is in my heart, with all the love of God in my heart, I pray for this woman. So when I finished, I told her, go back. Let them run those results again. This is the answer. Here. All 
All your blessings are in this message. Follow the angel. Follow the angel. He said, if you follow the angel, I will be an adversary for your adversary. Enemy for your enemy. Maybe you will not need to fight anybody. God will be fighting for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Oda. So let's look for this angel. Uh, and start following him. Uh, Can you put me the picture of the pillar of fire uh, if you have it? I wanna, why not? The picture. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. No. Amen. Wait a minute. Now, why you? The angel being referred to here is not William Braham. Is that a law of life? Or William Braham? That is the angel of the Lord. Amen. But you see, we will follow this angel. But there is a challenge. It's not visible. How can you follow a leader that you are not seeing? Oh. This is the reason. I didn't hear. God decided to humanize. I say it with every sense of responsibility. God humanize the leadership of that angel in a man. Brother Abraham said, I was not the one that appeared at Ohio River, but I was the one that was near when he appeared. I am not the one that you are feeding on. A man is a man. His word will fail. But you are feeding on the unfailing body work of the Son of God. God bless you. Then this prophet said, for 33 years, uh -huh. I vet the pillar of fire. I humanize the pillar of fire. Interpreting the word to you. So, if you want to follow the pillar of fire, stay with the message of God. So the pillar of fire is going. Moses was going. Uh -huh. Moses was the one programmed by divine chemistry to see. When Brother Bram is having a prayer line, the angel of the Lord will come. People you didn't are. see. He will say, ah, so we brother, do you feel something sweet? Ah, sorry. He said, yeah, I ah, feel. He said, that angel of the Lord is just two feet away from ah, the Lord. He could see him. Ah, he is the most sensitive oh, to the supernatural. Ah, He has to be able to see him uh, in order lady. to guide us. Uh, lady, to so, uh, I to the oh <laughs> Pastor said I should preach. preach. Man, the matters, right? Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, the 
pillar of fire is going. Uh, Moses is following. Uh, In our own day, uh, William Bram is following. Uh, and we are. Our sister, We are following Jesus wow. through the prophets. You see that? These children are message believers. They know the song. Hold it on for a while. So, as they were going, as they were going, the Bible said, the pillar of fire led by the way of the Red Sea. Even that statement means that there are other ways. But this is the one he chose. And thank God for somebody like Moses. He had met God before this journey. Brother Bram said, five minutes before the burning bush change Moses otherwise it will have been it will have been a problem uh, pillar of fire okay. where are you going according to my knowledge residual knowledge transferred knowledge there is no road that way Remember the deal is uh, don't query him. Just follow. Whether it looks right uh, or not, uh, just watch uh, my Church, let us let us oh, oh for grace to follow. And this pillar of fire. Uh, let them 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 let I don't know a poor captain. I mean, let him call Julius Berg to construct bridge. I mean, are we even sure that this uh, idea of pillar of fire? Are we even sure? It's not an idea of Ali and the, and the invisible coach. Maybe he's not even seen any blood. Maybe this, maybe that. Dead end. Church. Israel was led by God to a dead end. Think about that for a minute. Watch it. While they were wondering what the next step uh, would be, they saw dust. Uh, What's happening? Uh, By the time the dust uh, cleared, uh, Pharaoh and Egypt. Uh, and Egypt uh, and uh, Egypt uh, Valley here. Uh, Mountains uh, here. Okay. Egyptian army uh, here. Uh, Rats uh, here. Uh, here. Uh, oh, and it was God who led them by himself to the dead end. And yet, we must not challenge. We must not query. Let me tell you this afternoon. Above all revelation that you have, have this capstone revelation that God cannot be wrong. Whatever happened, she is not wrong. If it were left to you and I, we will say for them to be in this condition, they must have done something wrong. 
We are quick to snap. Look at look at uh, look at that young man that was born with that eyes. When the disciples came to ask questions, they came with their mind made up. Who sinned? It's different from uh, what, How about this? Uh, they concluded that what is to happen. Maybe grammar, maybe parents, maybe It is not our situation that as a result of sin. Believers, let us be Israelites in whom there is no God. Before you judge, before you conclude, find out. That is the only way to be helpful. This wasn't their making. It was God himself. And God has a purpose for it. But the believers, knowing that God cannot be wrong, must stand still to see the glory of God. Are you in that situation today? You look at your front. Everything is blocked. At your back. On your side. Your experience. Your condition. Is suffocating you. I want you to do yourself a favor. Search yourself. If there is nothing wrong, it is the harm of the Lord trying to do something greater. If it is as a result of sin, repent and the Lord will come true for you. Brother Brown said, God led them that way. Where there is no way. Because he wanted his people. His Exodus children. To enjoy redemption. To enjoy redemption. In twofold. They have enjoyed it by blood. The blood of Passover land. He wanted them to enjoy it by power. Because if he can save your soul, uh, he can heal your body, he can change your situation. This afternoon, he is still the same God. Your suffocating experience may not mean because of sin. If it is sin, repent. mercy will come. Mercy will come. For if there is no sin, I want to assure you, the Lord will come true for you. He will make a way where there is no way. There is no problem. There is no challenge that has been designed to destroy a child of God. You are not destroyable. They can only purge you. They can only cleanse you. And prepare you for higher ground. Cheer up my brother. Cheer up my sister. Christ will come on the scene. He will break the tempter's power. He will take away the gloom. He will fill up with glory. He will turn it around. Here is your shadow. If you are facing any challenge, this is your shadow. God's provided way. God's provided way led to a dead end. What do you think about that? Suffocating experience. You turn here, no way. You turn here, no way. Look up. This place can never be blocked. The Lord will make a way. Somehow. 
Tell your soul this morning. Don't worry. Do what I'm doing. Don't worry. The Lord will make a way. Somehow. The Lord will make a way. The Lord has made a way. Amen. Hallelujah. While they were there, look, it pays to go God's provided way. Because when you pay His way, God will take personal obligation of your security, your well-being. He promised it. I will, I will be an enemy to your enemy. Adversary. Oh, 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 oh. I will take over the land yeah. of the Parisites and I will give them to you. How many can take care of himself? Can you fight your battle? Can you meet your own need? Then don't go your own way. Go is provided with you. When you go his way, he's obligated. God came down. He charged Moses. Moses said, brethren, keep quiet. The Egyptian you see today. I say it again. The Egyptian that brought you in here after today, after now, you see them no more in the name of Jesus. I say it again. The Egyptians, the Amalekites, the Parasites, the Jebusites, the Gagasha, the Hamonites, and all the hides that you see today, after today, you see them no more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Moses said that, he came back to himself. It was God that spoke. It was Moses that was crying. And God told the crying Moses, what's wrong with you? Why cry? Speak. Now tell the people to go forward. Do you know what God did? God took charge of the path. He said, Moses, stay in front. I am here. The shepherd of Israel. Any death, any evil that wants to catch you must deal with me first. Come and search. There can never be a premature death. God's believing children. It's not possible. Brother Brown said, Satan was coming to terminate their life prematurely. He said, but there can never. Excuse me. When you write, gone too soon. Tell us when he should have gone. You are the one who created him. You are the one who appointed his boundary. So what is your measurement back? Leave it to God, brother. Leave it to God, sister. The prophet said, I repeat, there can never be a premature death for God's believing children. Hey. However, he said, you, you may personally walk into it by yourself. This is why you must avoid two things. Negative confession. Don't ever give up. Then avoid sin. 
avoid disobedience. When you are collected, accept correction. If you don't do it, and you are a child of God, and you think you can go on anywhere, the prophet said, God has one more option. If every correction fails, then he will take your life. You walk into it yourself. So God told Moses, stay in front. I'm here. Now as you go, you do what I told you to do. Open it up. While they were waiting, God was doing calculations. I want people who are good in physics. How many people are good in physics? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. God bless you, my brother. Come, come, come. Anybody else? Ah, prof, come. Oh, I say, come. I say, I say, Yeah. This is an associate professor. Where is, uh, where is Dr. Amor? Uh, to, to represent a gender balance. Uh, <laughs> I know she will be good in physics, isn't <laughs> she? She's hiding herself somewhere. Uh, Dr. Amor. Uh, Dr. Amor. Where is she? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We need more volunteers. Because why God, God bless you, my sister. I taught my brother. Why God was staying there? He started doing a calculation. We will need you to help us with it. He was calculating the speed, the time, the distance, the velocity, and all other parameters. In fact, you are free to consult Google this afternoon. Of what it will take to get 2 million people with irregular steps because some are weak, some are strong, others feel they cannot make it. But we shall not leave anybody. So, what it will take for these two million people to cross the Red Sea such that when the last man of Israel is coming out of the water, the entire host of Egypt will be in the middle of the water for their baptism. For their baptism. Can anybody help us? Professor said no. He can't help us. us. Doctor. Ah, she can't The whole cannot help us. So God is a better physicist. Ah. Professor Ayo John, full professor. I was told we have even full professor. Professor Ayo John, where are you? The sister. She says she cannot help us. Also. My goodness. Ah, you are here. You have to the medical science. Can you help us, sir? There is no formal. So, who has the final say? Like these people, God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. This was what God did. Where he was standing. And when he finished the calculation, he told Moses, move on. And they started moving. And he was calculating. He was calculating. When he got to a point that he knew that by the time the last man will be out, these guys will be fooling him. He told Pharaoh, come on, boys. 
Pharaoh started coming. Don't forget they were riding. And uh, the devil wanted to upset the calculation of God. He was making them run faster than calculation. My Bible told me. God said, you are not in charge. Oh, the Bible told me, me God me. began to trouble the people. Without me, you can do nothing. Do not be too anxious. You will arrive. We are God wanted you to arrive. If you are hasty to be rich, you will be corrupt. Allow God the right of way. You will arrive. It is not how much skillful we are how much we can labor which we should do we should do because you must show something for God to bless for it is the blessings of God that make it rich and have that God slowed them down. He, he put speed limiter. So no matter how hard they press the throttle, 60 kilometers per hour. 60 kilometers per hour. So all of a sudden, the last person out of the water. Sister Miriam and the others picked up on him. He was lying. Before you get carried away, Moses, the thing you open, close it up first, so that this revival can last. Your revival will last. The Lord will close it. He will close the Red Sea on every demon, on every problem, on every trouble, on every trial, on every affliction, on everything that is contrary to His grace for your life. In the name of Jesus. Then Moses said, ah, Did I not tell you? Ah, so this Egyptian you see, after today, you see them you no know more. You know more. Know more. Brethren, let's walk God's provided way. Then God will take responsibility for our entire life. Then you can truly say the Lord is my shepherd. Put it up for us. Let's enjoy it together as we close. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. He make me to he leaded me beside the steel. He restored. He leaded me in the path of his name. I must be righteous for his name. Wait a minute before we finish. Let me show you how beautiful that is. As nice as I'm dressed now. Do I look nice? God bless you. If I was driving a dirty car, see my white. Very clean. But my car is dirty. If they want to, if somebody wants to abuse, what will abuse? What will he say? See how dirty this man. But I am clean. But I got the abuse by my God. That is the meaning of bring it back. He restored my soul. He leaded me 
in God's provided way which is the part of righteousness for his name God does not want abuse if you are dirty my brother it is God that takes the blame that is what brother Brown said God does not just see to him that you are saved he sees to him that you remain saved it is you season and him doing. Uh -huh. Yeah, do I want to do where the body of the shadow? I will fear no. Stop fearing witches. Stop fearing wizards. Stop fearing sickness. Stop fearing affliction. Stop fearing any problem. Fear no. For thou art thy rod and thy staff. Amen. Thou preparest. God prepare my table. And he didn't cover it. He allowed anybody that cares. Because they can do nothing. In the presence of my. Thou anointed my head. My cup run at surely. Why you need to I said to you, sure. goodness and mercy shall follow you. All the days of your life. And ye shall dwell in the house of your Lord forever. One more line. We have gotten to the climax. But the Lord wants me to tell you this. Brother Tony Zabel. What brought him to the message? Was that he was looking for the way. To eternal life. The Lord gave this brother a dream. I started with a story. Let me end with one. The Lord gave this brother a dream. He saw a man dressed in Reverend Castle. Sir, I'm looking for eternal life. Can you show me the way? The man said, I don't know. Ask the other man. When he looked at this man, it was his first pastor. Then the next man was the second pastor. In the denomination. That one too said, I don't know. That one appointed him. So look at that man. Though he was not dressed in reverence garments. He wore a factory overall. He doesn't look anything like a preacher. Go to him. Tony said, when I got there. Brother Abraham, it was you. Amen. But this time around, he never told him, go to another person. He said, Tony, come, let me show you. He hung Tony's hand. He was guiding him. Guiding him. Guiding him. Then they got to a point. He said, Tony, I must leave you here. See why the prophet is not physically here now. He said, but, Tony said, how do I go? Tony, look down. Then for the first time, he saw bloody footprints. He said, this is the path that I've walked in to guide you through life. Keep your feet in there. And you will arrive safely. That bloody footprint part is the message of the house. Keep your feet planted in there. You will arrive safely. God bless you.
I believe the prophet. I believe with the bread. I believe in Malachi for the revelation. Oh, no more creed and dogma. No more denomination. The son of man is to be the seven seed. I believe. I believe. I believe in William Brown. I believe in Malachi for revelation. No more grace and love. No more denomination. The son of God is remain the same. We have been listening to the Lord talking to us. And people are right on the altar. There is no more room on the altar. You can just stay and lift your head wherever you are. Wherever you are. I believe that the Lord is talking to us. For the period that the teaching, the preaching was going on, it was the Lord talking to us. The preaching has stopped. It's time for you to talk to the Lord. Come to the Lord. Oh.
if not because of time time limit I would have just say let's just pray to six o'clock I just close the services but uh, we will still come back shall we pray Dear Almighty God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the, dog, the God of Israel, and the God of Fudemar Abraham, we thank you at this hour. We are very grateful unto you for what you have done in our day. Lord, if you have not gone to Calvary for our sake, then we will be enjoying this kind of blessings that we are enjoying today. Master, we just want to appreciate you. We remember when you came in the flesh. Each time you speak, the religious people are offended. How one day you told them, the reason why my world does not have a place in you is because you are none of my sheep. He said, as I have said earlier on, my sheep hear my voice. And when they hear it, they follow me. Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For making us your sheep. Lord, you say unto you, it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. Say, but unto them that is not given, here he will they hear, and they will never understand. Father, we thank you for the impact of re-echoing the message of the hour. Lord, it is a further confirmation that this message it's you today. Lord, this is where you are working today. The people that you are addressing today that believe this message today are your people. Those that disbelieve it, they will miss the rapture just as certain as many that did not enter into the ark of Noah. Father, we are very grateful to you. Thank you, Jesus. Your children, even without utter call, without persuasion, your word brought them forward. They have not come to meet the preacher. The preacher is a man like them who also have needs. Lord, the preacher did preach himself. He preached Christ. And the people that have searched forward, they have come to Christ. Lord Jesus, we add them over unto you that one by one, Lord, as their need differs from one to the other, Lord, and you have treasure that is inexhaustible, any check that is written to your bank can never be bounced. Father, we pray that you give up to every one of them according to the desires of their hearts. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Even those that couldn't find their way here, and they have one need or the other over there. Lord, the purpose of preaching is to show us how great you are, yes, how merciful you are, yes, how that you are faithful to your promises, yes, so that how loving you are, so that we can cast all our cares upon you because we know you care for us. Lord Jesus, from the platform to the pews, there is none of us that doesn't have one form of need or the other. Father, as you have promised, you will supply all our needs. If it be physical needs, may you supply, Lord. If it be material needs, may you supply, Lord. If it be spiritual needs, may you supply, Lord. If it be financial needs, may you supply, Lord. 
Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Your words once again have shown how great you are. It has shown how much you love us. It has shown how much you care for us. Amen. Heavenly Father, the decisions that we are taking to be more consecrated, to be more dedicated, Amen. to be more loyal, Amen. to be more submissive, Amen. to be more surrendered Amen. unto you. Amen. Lord, may you assure those decisions. Yeah. Lord. The enemy has been badly exposed. Yes, Lord. May be powerless in our life. Amen. May be powerless in our business. Amen. May be powerless in our head. Amen. May be powerless in our home. Amen. May be powerless in everything that we Amen. do. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Satan, you are being exposed. Yes, Lord. You have no part in the lives of God's children. Come out Amen. and go in no more. Amen. Pack your bag of baggages. Leave God's people alone in the name of Jesus. May the victory be permanent. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Abundantly bless and replenish your servants that you are graciously used. May your name be exalted, Lord. Thank you, Master. Once again, we'll be back in the evening. Maybe we just come back and uh, just appreciate the meetings. Appreciate you for the meetings and your blessings. Then we close. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you still be with us. Thank you, our Master. We love you Amen. because you first of all loved us. Yes, Thank you, Savior. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Good, you know. <laughs> what I keep telling people is that <laughs> it looks as if something is at the corner. It looks as if something is at the corner. Oh, merciful God. You are not, you are not interpreting me. You see what I'm trying to say? <laughs> is, if you look at the world today, the old world, is a tumult. Israel, Israel and Iran, they had one another's go go You talk of China <laughs> and, ta and Taiwan. You talk about Russia <laughs> and Ukraine. And most of the nations <laughs> are taking sides <laughs> on all those areas. <laughs> Why the enemy is doing that? God is preparing his people. God bless you, my brother. I appreciate you. God bless you. That's wonderful. Amen. Amen. Do you love the Lord? Mm. May God be our head. Uh, we sang war chorus before. Uh, I believe, Brother Brian, uh, I believe the prophet. No more denominations, no more Christian dogma. The Son of Man is revealed. You know, may God help us. Will we sing another one related to that? Then we will dismiss. But you have to do me a favor. We will draw the service a little closer. You know today is the, is the last preaching day. I, I, I think you know that. You see, when you come to camp, you uh, must be ready to make sacrifice. I know you are making those sacrifices. But let us make this sacrifice again. Instead of 5 o'clock, let, 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 let us sit by 4.30. It will help us. It will help us to close our time. Amen. Amen. You love the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Brother Abraham said, uh, 
When Abraham said, uh, you, he said, we have a call of God, you want to go to Bible school, say you are digging your grave. If, if, God, if I want to give this seed to my brother, you don't need to go to school to learn how to take it. Very simple. This is a ministerial gifts. Amen. Amen. Ministerial gifts. We have identified them. If, if, you, if you put a Pentecostal denominational preacher here, he'd be ashamed of himself. Because all he's jumping and shouting and screaming, we will just be watching him like a film. God bless you. I say God bless you. We are happy. We are traveling on the right road. Mm. But Abraham said, if Satan is not pursuing you, if he's not pursuing you, then it means he has got to you. Because he cannot get us. He will continue to pursue us. And he will never meet us. God bless you. I say God bless you. I will reserve my strength. You know we are coming back. Yes. All the little strength that is in me. I will bring it out at that time. God bless you. I say God bless you. You see this ministry. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, God put them in the body. And they are complimentary to one another. They don't, they don't fight. If you fight where they seem to be fighting, there is a wrong motive. There is a wrong motive and a wrong objective. Amen. Amen. May God help us. I must be honest with you. I didn't want brother to. I didn't want him to stop. Oh man. <laughs> Because I was, I was feeding on it. It's food to my soul. Amen. Amen. Oh man. God bless you, brother. And before we see the chorus are dismissed, our precious brother wants to make some announcements. God bless you. Brother Kameta sent the invitation to the convention that is to hold at uh, Ugele this August for announcement. Right. And the convention is holding between 26th and 28th of this month. Yes, at Ugele. I'm sure that all the pastors that are on WhatsApp, they have gotten the invitation of their It has been posted on all the ministerial groups. But in case you are not aware and you are interested, I don't know, maybe I will give it to the projector people. 
Yeah, maybe before the evening service, while they are making some preparations, they will put it there. God bless you. Uh, Brother Eli is just telling me now that uh, Brother Joe Ebroka, which is the father of Brother Emma Joe Ebroka, uh, sent request for is healing. Uh, now we should pray for him for a complete healing. This are li list of lost but found items. Uh, An umbrella. Uh, ATM card bearing Evelyn Akomu of for Access Bank. Access Bank. Access Bank. Some monies. I want to work on a black cardigan. I want to get to do come two eye drops bottles. Uh, Maybe yesterday one has not been collected. Uh, I want to buy a good you. Maybe it's no money dead. I want to know the money. The silver ring. I want to allow a little bit there. If the ring is not collected by maybe this evening or so, we'll give it to the authority of the camp. Maybe it belongs to a student or other people. That uh, is yeah, so. yeah, a black small bag with toothbrush and other things. A child's wristwatch. Students are ready card of Federal University of Technology. If any of them is yours, I please see the officers. Um, all right. The security people said that uh, some people do leave their answers on the table or on the pavement when they are eating. One of such was found, and I think the owner has been able to recover it. And then the parents are still advised to take care of their children. Not to allow the underage ones to stroll. Anyhow. The seven churches book that we distributed yesterday. We still have some that is available but not in the camp here. It's at our church in So those that I need, we should make contact and then we look for a convenient time for you to have it. The other salmon books that we distributed that were printed by local efforts of Britain in Nigeria. We have the plan to make such printing uh, quarterly. Once in three months. Yeah, but we to save money for this that was printed took about um, eight to ten months now. Uh, so we are trying to save money now. We like to because we need about six hundred thousand to print four salmons like that in three months. to uh, we need about six hundred thousand like that in three we want to marry. We will humbly request for volunteers who desire to be part of such to get across so that whatever is convenient for you to contribute on that regular basis to continue the printing. Your name will be noted. Your contact. And the amount that you feel you can contribute. Then we can see the program how it goes. God bless you. 
We also still have some of those printed ones that are not here in the camp too. Yeah. All right. I would like you to note that uh, since people will start leaving the camp, maybe some might have the plan to even leave today. And, uh, and mostly everybody tomorrow morning. Please make sure that you don't pick somebody else's things along with where you are parking. So, Pick your yes, things. Yeah, we'll yeah. Look at the item you are putting inside your mm. load one by one to be sure it does not belong to somebody. And your bag may also look identical to somebody's bag. Be sure it is yours. Because you the cost of looking for the owner may be there is no clear identification. It might be more costly. Finally, the way you collect your mattress, that is also where you return it. If you don't return your mattress and it gets messed up and it is lost, it costs not less than 15000 or more to replace it. And every mattress was borrowed. So please, we need maximum cooperation. On that. God bless you richly. Shalom. So we will dismiss right away. And, uh, let's bow our heads to pray for those uh, perhaps whom I want to leave. Uh, yeah, because tomorrow is a uh, uh, work. Definitely it's not everybody that will stay for the uh, evening. Uh, 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 Father, once again, we bring appreciation and thanksgiving not to you for the abundance of blessings, great and pouring of your spirit upon us in these meetings. Okay. How many of those who believe in today, we just say all of them. May your grace take them to their destination. Protect them on the highway and the byway. Frustrate every plan and move of the devil for your glory and honor. Thank you, our Father. Blessed be thy name. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. Shall we rise? We said, I believe the prophet. But this song we want to signal is a question. You are the only one that we are saying. He said, do you believe the spoke of do you believe the spoke of I Do you believe the spoke of I That's why I'm singing. I'm raising my voice. That's why I'm singing. Bye.
Thank mm-hmm. you.